things you don't know about Kunu. Pinocchio is a 1940 American animated musical fantasy film produced by Walt Disney Productions and based on the 1883 Italian children's novel The Adventures of Pinocchio by Carlo Collodi. It was the second animated feature film produced by Disney Meet after the first animated success Snow White and the Seven Drop. The pilot involves an old Italian woodcarver named Capetuo who curves a wooden puppet named Pinocchio. The puppet is brought to life by a blue fairy who informs him that he can become a real boy if he puts himself to be brave, truthful, and unselfish. Pinocchio's efforts to become a real boy involve encounters with the host of unsavory characters. The K character of Jiminy Cricket is based on a hundred year wise old talking cricket from the original book. Ho warns Pinocchio of his impudence when they meet only to be killed in return shortly after before returning as a ghost. The film was adapted by several storyboard artists from Colody's book. The production was supervised by Ben Substein and Hamilton Lusky and the film's sequences were directed by Norman Ferguson, T. He, Wilfred Jackson, Jack Kenny, and Bill Roberts. Pinocchio was a groundbreaking achievement in the area of effects animation, giving realistic movement of vehicles, machinery, and natural elements such as rain, lighting, smoke, shadows, and water. The film was released to theaters by RKO Radio Pictures on February 7, 1940. Although it became the first animated feature to win a competitive Academy Award, winning two or Best Music Original Score and for Best Music Original Song for When You Wish Upon a Star, it was initially a box office boom, mainly due to World War II. Cutting of the European and Asian markets overseas, it eventually made a profit in its 1945 D issue and is considered one of the greatest animated films ever made with a 100% rating on the website Rotten Tomatoes. The film and characters are still prevalent in popular culture, featuring at various Disney parks and in other forms of entertainment in 1994. Pinocchio was added to the United States National Film Registry for being deemed culturally, historically or aesthetically significant. In April 2015, a live action adapts Station, directed by Robert Jimikis had officially entered development and began filming in March 2021. Enough with intro. Now let's get back to our discussion topic. 1. Figaro was world's favorite character. Of all of the characters in Pinocchio, Figaro was world's favorite. He loved him so much that he pushed for the adorable kitten to appear in the film as much as possible. Once production was over, he decided to make Figaro a companion for Minnie Mouse, replacing her Coker Paniel. 2. It took a long time to get Pinocchio's look just right. In the film's earlier stages, animators struggled with making Pinocchio cute enough. It took 12 artists about 18 months to nail the look Walt had in mind. Animator Milt was the one who made the suggestion to first make him in the image of a human boy and then a puppet like giants and screws to the design. 3. Thal Ravenscroft is the voice of Monstro. Actor Thal Ravenscroft who is famous for voicing characters such as Tony the Tiger, Captain from 101 Dalmatians, the Russian cat from the Aristocats, and one of the grim and reigning ghosts in the Haunted Mansion, is responsible for the sounds that Monstro the Hall makes. Additionally, he and his group Meloman recorded a song titled Honest John, which was the latter cut from the film. For the lead animator, we had figure based his appearance and personality traits on that of a wild kid. So, Figaro looks like an ordinary house cat. Animator Eric Larson decided to infuse his design with the personality traits of a wild child. The best example of this characterization is when Gapetto tells him to leave his dinner alone until Pinocchio gets home. 5. Christian's rap both voiced and inspired Gapetto's look. Prior to Christian rap being cast as the voice of Gapetto, animator said, not sure that they wanted the character 
to look like, but once the actor signed on, they decided to use him as a live action reference model. 6. Animator used the rotoscoping technique during production to perfect Jiminy Cricket's human like movement. Filmmakers brought in an actor named Val Stanton and recorded him moving around on stage. Afterwards, they used a technique called rotoscoping to trace over frames from the clip, which they used as inspiration for Jiminy's animation. 7. Top versions of the film's Coco clocks were drafted during production to get the look and feel of the Coco Cooks clock right. The crew made top versions that actually were they studied the movement and incorporated it into their drawings. They also created a full model of Tromboli's train and ran it down a track. 8. Pinocchio won two Academy Awards. In fact, it holds the distinct honor of being the first Disney film to win an Oscar for both musical categories best score and best song for when you wish upon a star the dual win wouldn't be received by the studio again until mary poppins in 1965. 9. finocchio was the first animated film to feature famous voice actors nowadays almost all animated movies especially fixed films are voiced by some incredible actors but finocchio was ahead of its time when the cast was revealed to feature names like dk jones cliff edwards and of course christian Schraub. the latter not only voiced the character of Gapetto but was also said to be the inspiration behind his appearance. Christian Sharp was well known for his roles in a huge amount of films from the late 1910 and was a household name by the time his role in Finicue was released. So taking visual inspiration from rap was a great idea and we are certainly happy they did. 10. The water effects inspired another famous Disney movie. When John Masker and Ron Clements were working on the underwater effects in The Little Mermaid, they used the monster scenes from Pinocchio as a reference. 11. Like many other Disney movies, it was based on a book. The Adventures of Pinocchio was a children's book by Italian author Carlo Collodi originally published in 1883. If you think that Disney version is dark, you should read the original Pinocchio is stabbed by assassins and hanged halfway through the book, though his later rescued and turned into a real boy by the child with the blue hair. Other differences from the source material in the book, the Blue Fairy has a team of animals working for her, including a puzzle, her coachman, a group mice to pull the coach, and a snail, a messenger, impresario, stromboli, is called Mangia Foco, fire eater, in the novel, and Fleager Island is called Toyland. And the sea creature that swallows Gapetto and Finocchio is a giant shark, not a whale. 12. The puppet went through several different personalities changes. At one point, Walt wanted him to be fresh and wise-cracking, similar to Edger Virgin's Charlie McCarthy dummy. Another version certainly wouldn't have flow with family audiences. A lasty Finucchio would have grabbed at the blow fairy whenever she appeared. The hardest part of the production was making Finucchio a sympathetic character. Color the story was rewritten to remove the wooden bias, mischievous, even malicious trick and make him more passive. But the the trickier part was making him look more like a human boy than a block of wood. 13. Jiminy Cricket was inspired by a couple of different people. When Walt explained the character to Kimball, he mentioned that Jiminy Cricket reminded him of his own beloved adult uncle Ed. After hearing Walt's vision, Kimball originally designed a character that looked more like a real cricket, fillers, bulging eyes, and an elongated body. Walt called it gross. So, Jiminy changed into a little man with a big hat bearing little resemblance to real bark. He was a cricket because we called him a cricket, Kimball said, and later explained how much he eventually grew to hate the character. I hated that cricket. I got sick of drawing that oval hat looking in every direction. His coat I bought from the man on the Johnny Walker scotch bottle in the back. It curves and splits in the middle so it resembles cricket wings. 14. Jiminy suffers 
a surprising fate in the book. The cute little Quan's science incarnate was only a minor character in the book, and he dies when Pinocchio throws a hammer at him. It was Walt's idea to expand the character, but he didn't hit upon the idea until after the story man had completed the script. They had to go back and rework Jiminy Cricket into the entire movie. Luckily, as they wanted to create a warmer friendship between Pinocchio and Jiminy, he wasn't squashed and became a friendly companion for the rest of the story. In addition, the filmmaker decided to shift the story around, cut some things out, and make Jiminy Cricket the narrator of the movie. It's a pretty big leap from being cast within the opening scene. 15. There were at least three songs cut from the film. Pinocchio is pretty well known for its great songs and music throughout the film, but it was recently reported that there were some songs that didn't quite make the final cut of the film performed by Disney instead Tal Ravenscroft also known for his voice over work as Tony the Tiger and his group The Mellow Man Honest John didn't make the final movie one of the other songs was called Three Cheers for Anything which was about all the bad things that children were going to do like telling lies or sweeping a pie another song this time called Straight Ahead was going to be sung by Phoenix and the rest of the boys as they were heading straight ahead to Israel and after being kicked on at school and after taking the blow fairy words of wisdom a little toe literally 16 the movie was a critical success but a box office failure critics raved about how perfect the movie was the Los Angeles Times critics said Pinocchio tops any animated cartoon I ever saw and the new Republic wrote that brings the cartoon to a level of perfection that the world cartoon will not cover but you wouldn't know it from the box office in some markets Pinocchio barely made a ten of snow white hat Walt believed the movie suffered from competition with the gone with the wind which bet opened not long before and he later admitted that Pinocchio lacked an intangible something critics still love the film today by the way it's one of just a handful of movies to achieve a hundred percent rating on road in tomatoes the film cost 2.3 million dollar to make about twice as much as snow white it earned back less than 2 million dollar during its initial run some theorized that the movie did poorly initially because it's so grim pinocchio is terrorized throughout the movie and four of the five villains who torment him get off unpunished the film eventually made a profit during its re-release in 1945 disney would put the film back into theaters at total seven times between 1945 and 1992. 17. Mel Blanc passed Gideon the Cat. Walt hurt Mel Blanc to buy the villainous sidekick character after hearing Blanc's copied drunk impersonation. Blanc recorded all of his clients in 16 days and received $50 per day. But if you have seen the movie, you might remember that Gideon the Cat is mute. This the ended up being all that the audiences would think the cat was drunk and reduced Blanc's lens to a single hiccup, which Blanc didn't find out until the movie premiered. Good thing he had that whole box of bunny things to fall back on. 18. Disney paid for Cliff Edwards' gravestone. Veteran Bow the Valley actor Cliff Edwards provided the boys of Jiminy Cricket, including his gorgeous rendition of When You Wish Upon a Star. Unfortunately, Edwards' drugs and alcohol addiction affected his work frankly. His career began to decline, and by 1969, he is no longer in the employ of the Walt Disney Company. They did, however, quietly pay his medical bills if the early 18 someone in the company was informed that Edwards had never received a proper headstone after his death in 1971. Disney persisted a simple market that paid tribute to Ukulele Aiki, the persona Edwards was known for back in the Baudi Valley days. 19. The amount of work that went into the animation was unparalleled. Since it was one of the early movies to experiment with animation, the film was bound to take a lot of time to complete but the fact that the artwork for the film was being created for almost five years before its release with over 700 artists all working on the monstrous project at once in pretty staggering but thanks to this intense amount of work and the incredible attention to detail Pinocchio become a revelation in the animation world in fact one particular scene where we overlook the town was so difficult and expensive to animate that they had to come up with the whole new system instead of
of using the multiplication pen, which revolutionary at the time. But after months of hard work, the shot of birds flying and people undaring in the town was brought to life. 20. Pleasure Island might have had a different name. Pleasure Island had become a pretty well known place since its initial introduction in the PTQ film. A cast island with a theme park where it would turn young Mississippi's boys into donkeys is pretty unique to say the least and extremely dark but it wasn't always going to be called Pleasure Island. In fact, according to Major Fox Carney, the island was previously known as Bugland with the cover initially trying to find a name for a place where kids could do things they were not allowed to do elsewhere. However, we are pretty glad they chose to go the Pleasure Island as we cannot really imagine any other name being associated with it. 21. The original PDQ could have been a lot darker without some changes. Before the film went to on to win two Academy Awards for the best score and best song when he was up on star originally the film could have looked and felt a lot different rather than the spying up a bit tone of the movie. A lot of things were quite a lot darker. One example is that classic oil scene where Gapato and the cat figure who climbed out of the water freezing and hungry. They got so hungry in the original version that they considered eating their innocent pet fish Cleo for for a Disney movie eating a talking animal friend is definitely a big no no and we are extremely glad that they scrapped this dark scene. 22. A multi plan crane couldn't handle the scene overlooking the town. Kaufman says the scene during the morning after Pinocchio comes to life often gets sighted. He explains that when the camera moves over the roofs of the town, it's a 2D force of technique because the revolutionary at the time multi plan crane couldn't even handle the elaborate mass. They had to come up with a whole new system and it was shot horizontally. It took months and was very very expensive. He says in addition there are birds flying and people walking in the town which are layered in the scene Kaufman calls groundbreaking. 23. Capet to New Pinocchio's Family Tree Story In a car scene Kaufman says Capet was going to tell Pinocchio the story of one of his arboreal ancestors. Pine tree that was Pinocchio's real ancestor. The story was elaborate. It was about this mighty pine and set against the storms etc. Kaufman says while hearing the story audiences would see Pinocchio playing it out in his imagination. There should be birds flying around and they were birds he would be seeing in Capetus workshop. Kaufman says 24. Pinocchio meaning the name Pinocchio literally means little wooden hair. 25. Disney legend Walt Kimball almost quit until Walt pulled him in charge of Jiminy Cricket. Animator Walt Kimball was still upset about scenes of his that were cut from Snow White and was in Alf's office to tender his resignation. Instead, Walt asked Kimball if he would lead the charge of animating Jimmy Cricket at Freaky Assignment since no one was sure how to make the little insect look appealing. God, he did such a wonderful job that I walked out very happily and said what a wonderful place this is, Kimball later recalled. 26. Cliff Edwards was auditioned for the boys of Pinocchio. Cliff Edwards aka Ukilili Aiki, the name he used as a popular novel tone singer in the 1920s and 30s, auditioned for the boys of Pinocchio but the 43 year old had Thomas grown up in his bias so he was cast instead as Jiminy Cricket. 27. D.K. Jones other notable characters. D.K. Jones a 12 years old who had also appeared in Frank's chapter as Mr. Smith goes to Washington landed the role of Pinocchio. He also voiced Alexander, one of the boys on Pleasure Island. 28. Physical model of Blue Fairy. Future board or a dance legend March Champion, then married to Disney animation director R. Babbitt, was the physical model for the Blue Fairy. Acting out the character's movements and film for the animators to study, she had performed a similar test for Disney Snow White. 29. Boys of the Fairy. The Boys of the Fairy was provided by Evelyn Venable, an actress best known for her roles in that takes a holiday opposite Frederick Mars and the little colonel alongside Shirley Temple. She was also the model for the initial Columbia Pictures logo of a woman holding a star. 30. Walter Cat Flat based his characterization on two famous acting brothers. According to the Trump's character actor Walter Cattle, who voiced the theatrical con artist honest John the Fox, based his characterization on two famous acting brothers whose name started with B. Pre John and B. 
Lionel Barrymore, 31, Walt Disney was about to get sued for this movie. Pauline Lorenzini, Colo Disney, who asked the Italian Ministry of Popular Culture to sue Disney for overly Americanizing his uncle's creations. Pinocchio's adventures are an Italian work of art and must not be destroyed to make it American. He stated, there's no evidence that any action was ever taken toward his complaint. 32. During Pinocchio, Walt Disney's nine old men or nine young kids in the latter years, Frank Thomas, Walt Kimball and Milt Carl were card carrying members of the nine old men, a collective of animators whom Walt Disney came to defend and throw out his lifetime, but all nine of those men were still related novices during the production of Pinocchio. Most of them had joined the studio when Disney was in the choice of making Snow White and the Seven Drops and started at the pants of the veterans who had been with the studio since the late 1920s and early 1930s. Pinocchio marked the beginning of a generational shift as the future nine old men took point on the production. At the same time, Disney was constantly revising and reframing the studio's existing methods. We had enough of an income that we could experiment properly, Disney said in a 1956 interview included as a bonus feature accompanying Pinocchio and Disney+. Plus. I picked certain artists who were not good with character animation or personality animation and they became specialists in effect. Other boys, they were good on personality and character. I put them into that game. I think the vital part I played was co coordinating this talents and encouraging this talents. This is emphasis on personality driven animation led him to us in specific character to specific animators. Hence, Carl was the creative force behind Pinocchio. Kimball oversaw Jimmy Cricket and Fred Moore, not one of the nine old men, but a Disney legend all saw. Took on Pleasure Island travel maker Lamp A. 33. Walt War II contributed to Pinocchio's financial hours. Walt of Pinocchio's release preceded America's entry into World War II by nearly two years. The conflict in the European theater had a big impact on the movie's bottom line. Pinocchio was released at a time when the world was kind of collapsing. Disney explained in 1956, as soon as the invasion of Europe came in 1939, the market collapsed and our English pounds were frozen. Produced for around $2.3 million. The film earned oil under that. The commercial failure of Disney's third animated feature, Fantasia, in November further jeopardized the studio's future. Finally, enough the very conflict that delivered a body blew to Pinocchio's box of his crosses under throwing Disney a lifeline. Not long after Paul Harbour spurred the U.S. into action, 500 American crops occupied his studio to protect surrounding aircraft factories. He then received a call from US Navy who met him on offer he couldn't refuse. The Navy department said, Mr. Disney, we want you to make films on aircraft identification and we want the first films in 90 days. I said, what will they cost? And they said, we have a budget of $80,000. Can you do it? Disney went on to produce multiple propaganda and technical productions for the government for the duration of the war, which helped his studio escape bankruptcy. As for Pinocchio, the film eventually found its audience during multiple theatrical re-releases and the rise of the home video era. 34. Animation of Jiminy Cricket The task of creating Jiminy Cricket was given to legendary Disney animator Walt Campbell. His first assignment as an animation director, he originally designed the character to look more like a real cricket, but Walt Disney found the result to cross and demanded he be made cute. Kimball ultimately removed all the insect-like features and turned Jimmy into a little green man with an oversized hat, wearing a gentlemanly outfit. The animator borrowed from the logo of Johnny Alker Scotch Whiskey Disney was pleased, even though the character no longer resembled her back. In later years, Kimball expressed unhappiness with the compromises in Jimmy's design sign the audience accepts him as a ticket because the other characters say he is 
25 Eden Seeker Beating the musical number when you wish upon a star when a spotlight in scene of Jimmy Kicket 1 is able to see two books to the left of the screen which are Peter Pan and Alice in Underland Walt Disney started developing the two stories for the big screen at the time of these films release and they would be released respectively in 1953 and 1951 when you wish upon a star went on to become the official Disney song the song was ranked number 7 in the 2004 American Film Institute's list of the top movie songs of all time. The highest ranking song on the list among Disney animated films. 36. The movie has multiple villains. This is one of, if not the only Disney film to feature multiple main villains. The first villain Pinocchio encounters is Honest John and his assistant Gideon. The second main villain is Tom Bully. The third, although Pinocchio never meets him personally, is the coachman who took the children to Pleasure Island and the final one is Monstro. 37. Honest John's real name. Honest John's real name is given in promotional materials as Charlier or Tintal Fall Fellow, but this name is never mentioned in the film itself. That is the death card. I am Fall Fellow attempts to call Spinoke to go to Pleasure Island. He gives him a card with an ass of spades on it, calling it his ticket. In popular myth and folklore, the ass of spades is referred to as the death card. 39. Carlo Lorenzini's magazine of Pinocchio. Carlo Collodi was really Carlo Lorenzini, a journalist and rebel writer who settled down to write children's stories. He took his pen name from the town of his mother's birth, Collodi, when he originally published Pinocchio in the form of a magazine serial. Lorenzini's intention was to kill Pinocchio by having him hang himself. At the suggestion of his editor, Lorenzini added chapter 16 to 32, giving the story a happy ending and creating the character of the Blow Fairy. 40. Animators had a difficult time animating Gapetto. The animators had a difficult time choosing how to animate Gapetto. Early models looked too much like Dog from Snow White, so eventually decided to model him after his voice actor Christian Rostrap. Podium Pinocchio is supposed to be the first animated feature to be released on video. It is commonly perceived that Pinocchio 1940 was the first Disney animated feature to be released on video in 1985. In reality, that honor goes to Dumbo 1941 in 1980. There are three possible reasons for this misconception. For one, whom did you was in its infancy in 1980 but was starting off by 1985? Another reason was the strength of the advertising campaign for Pinocchio's video David, which was the largest campaign for a single title at the time. Finally, the Disney Studio had made past statements that none of the animated films would be released on video. Nevertheless, the success of Pinocchio on video was a breakthrough moment in the history of Walt Disney Home Video. What to creating the sound of Pinocchio talking and water? Early attempts at creating the sound of Pinocchio talking and water involved deep chance trying to talk with water in his mouth. And this proved unsuccessful other methods to create the sound or shout. The successful method was a specially designed microphone with a called internal power and pedals it distort the sound enough to give the water the effect. 43. Pinocchio was a groundbreaking achievement in the area of effects animation. In the contrast to the character animators who concentrate on the acting of the characters, effects animators create everything that moves other than the characters. This includes vehicles, machinery and natural effects such as rain, lighting, snow, smoke, cherries and water as well as the fantasy or science fiction type effects like fairy dust. The influential of stress animator Oscar Christian who mainly worked on fantasy and contributed to the effects animation of the Blue Fairies Wand. Effects animator Sandy Stoker kept a diary about his year long animation of the water effects, which included splashes, details, bubbles, elves, and illusion of being underwater. To help give depth to the ocean, the animators put new detail into the apps on the water surface in the foreground and put in less detail as the surface moved further back. After the animation was traced onto cells, the assistant animators would place it on once more with blue and black pencil leads to give the apps to sculptor blue to save time and money. The splashes are kept in pressure these techniques enabled Pinocchio to be one of the first animated films to have highly realistic effects animation. 
uh, religion song. So, you know, I think that's one of the finest things the students ever done. A strong concept. The water looks so real. A person can drink in it. And the day, pretty good. Cancelled Sequel. In the mid 2000s, Disney Channel Studios began development on a sequel to Pinocchio. Robert Pesci co wrote the film's screenplay, Prince So Pinocchio on a Strange Journey. For the sake of something dear to him, it's a story that leads Pinocchio to question why life appears unfair sometimes. Said Peggy, John Lancaster cancelled Pinocchio too soon after being named chief creative officer of Walt Disney Animation Studios in 2006. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button below, and please don't forget to share this video with your friends.